Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here. I'm doing an update to my cigar table. Uh, I use this table for cigar smoking. Um, those of you who have watched my channel, uh, I have a few cigar videos up. Not necessarily of me smoking cigars or reviews of cigars, more so unboxings and stuff like that. So check that out. But uh, anyway, I did this table maybe two years ago, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and I never put anything on top of it. Uh, like a lacquer or anything. So that's what I'm doing now. But because I didn't, stuff started to peel up and all. So I'm going back and putting this down. I have a whole bag right there of uh, of uh, bands that I'm going to put on here. Um, and then once that's done, I will lacquer it up. So I'm going to take you guys with me and just sort of, you know, as I go step by step, I'll give you an update and so forth and so on. So you guys stay tuned. I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, quick update for you. I'm not that far in, but I wanted to show you, so the first thing I had in mind was, you know, I take a glue stick and I, you know, rub it on the back of a cigar band and then I stick it. And that worked. That's actually how I did the table initially. Um, but this time, that didn't seem to be working too well, maybe because I already have some stuff on here or whatever. So what I did was I took this, and here I'll just show you guys real quick, and I just squeeze out some glue. Okay, squeeze out some glue, all right, and then I took this, which I actually peeled off the table, it just, it was done, it wouldn't stick anymore, and it's real soggy and all, but um, I just use it like a brush, and I just spread this glue, so you guys can see, this is clear glue, Elmer's clear, and I just sort of spread it, there you can see it's all shiny there, spread it over like a brush wherever I want to stick a label um, and then I just stick a label down so uh, or a cigar band rather um, so anyway I think I'm gonna stick with that method and uh, I'll check back with you guys in a second okay guys uh, this is before the lacquer so the next step is gonna be the lacquer um, this is done so uh, I use this, like I said, and just sort of spread it and put the labels down. Um, once it started getting pretty uh, heavily labeled, uh, I changed and I started putting this directly on the label. And then I would smear it with this same thing that I showed you earlier um, and then lay the label down. Um, now granted, this is a lot messier than the glue stick. Okay, a lot messier than the glue stick, um, but it does a lot better job. So I highly recommend that. So next step will be the lacquer. So I'm going to read the directions on this. I think I know what to do, but just to make sure, because you really can't take it off once it's on there. Um, so I'm going to read the directions on this, put a coat on here, and I'll come back to you guys after one coat. And then uh, after that, I will come back and show you the final product. Hey guys, so this is after one coat. Let me get out of the sun, see if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that, how well it's going to pick it up on camera. But it's pretty shiny. So, uh, it's been about five minutes. Uh, it's pretty dry to the touch. It said wait 30 minutes, but... I don't think I'm going to wait 30 minutes. Um, I will say on the first coat, uh, I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then I came back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I did a back and forth, back and forth three times. So not too heavy, but not too light either. Um, I want it to stick. I want it to take. I want to really build up a, uh, a surface here. So uh, the next update will be the last one, which will be the final product. Last part of this video, um, this now has been sitting for about a week. Uh, I let it dry, really just uh, just sit for a week. Um, I ended up at about six coats, and with each coat, I got heavier and heavier. What I was noticing was that uh, this stuff, it does not go on as thick as a brush, um, not by any means. So um, on the can, it said three coats. I ended up doing double that, six, and they got heavy. Um, the fourth, fifth, sixth coat, I mean, was heavy. Now, something that, the downside of this over a brush, this still, let me get you guys down here so you can focus in on that. This still has, I don't know if you guys can see that, 
right there. Okay, so it does not submit all the seams down all the way, like I was hoping. Everywhere. However, some places it does. For instance, right here, this is smooth. Okay, up here, smooth. Okay, there's a little lip right there. Right here is very smooth. Okay, smooth, smooth, all this, very smooth, right through here. Um, this right here is pretty smooth. Uh, this is still very lipped, as you can see. Um, but I put a lot right there, it's real stacked up. This, pretty smooth right here, all this right here, one nice gloss piece is what it feels like. Here, you can see where it's still peeled a little bit. Um, overall, I'm very happy with it. it. I don't think it's as good as a thick lacquer coat uh, that you would brush on and really build up that lacquer thick. Um, this is not that. Uh, but for my purposes, I think uh, I think it will. Uh, I think it will do. I think it will suffice. All right. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you have a similar project like this, put the link below in your comment. I'd love to see it. I'm sure other people would too. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.